Hey, what's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine, back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. Now, um, I'm gonna say what I gotta say about this device, about my uh, overall experience with it, and I'm gonna get out your way. You know, and I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. All right, now, um, first off i will start by saying that i personally am not too big of a fan of this device and this is going to be one of those devices where i don't really feel as though there's a middle ground i feel like either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it well i don't want to say hate it hate it is a strong word you know either you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it as much and you're gonna rock with something else and you know uh, it's nice for the sake of, 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 of that nostalgic feel, you know, you know, definitely giving us a feeling of, you know, uh, you know, taking us back to the future, if you will, you know, back in the days when we were, you know, rocking flip phones all the time. You know, I, I think that this is a, a, a nice, uh, a nice, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a nice device in that particular regard. But in my mind, when I think about a foldable, <clears throat> I'm thinking about the real true consolidation between phone and tablet. This to me is just more so like a regular candy bar, uh, candy bar style device that has the ability to fold. Now, when you fold it, it's small in stature. It's nice. It's, it's, it's very pocketable. You know, it's very portable. But another one of the things that I do not like about this device is that outer display and just the lack of, 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 of options when it comes to it. I mean, there's, so, there's only a few things that you can do on the outer display, and I'm not really a fan of that. You know, I've been spoiled completely by the outer display on the Moto Razr 5G, and, you know, I personally would recommend, if you're looking for this style of folding phone, I would recommend the Moto Razr 5G because of the fact that it gives you so much more options and, and, and abilities without outer display and you don't have to open the device if you don't want to. That is huge, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like, you know, if you're going to rock with a device like this, that constant opening and closing and being extremely limited to what you can do while the phone is closed, to me, is for the birds. You know what I mean? Especially when we've got the technology out there. You know what I mean? Which is proven, hint, the, 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 the Moto Razr 5G. You know, such a thing could have been done. Samsung, they could have, for one, they could have increased the outer display. And they definitely could have given us some more features and functions with it. You know, to where if we wanted to rock this phone closed, then we could easily do that. Now, I'm not saying that this phone is a bad device. This is just my opinion, you know, uh, and, and, you know, my thoughts and feelings after rocking this phone, you know, for, you know, week, week and a half, close to two weeks now. Um, but I mean, you know, the, the phone, I mean, it's a beast. It's a powerhouse. You know, you've got all your latest specifications. Uh, first off, you know, this phone, it's going to run you, you know, uh, $999, <clears throat> which is a reduction in price from the original Z Flip and the Z Flip 5G. So that's nice. That's a nice touch, right? You're getting more phone, you know, you're getting better durability. You got the IP rating, you know, um, you know, Samsung is claiming that this and the Fold 3 is 80% more durable than the last year's uh, versions of them. You know, cameras have been enhanced a bit, right? Like there, there's, there's the, the, the device has got some good things going for it and they lowered the price by like three or 400 bucks. I mean, so that's a plus. That's a plus there, you know, internally, you know, you've got the Snapdragon 888 processor, you know, you've got uh, the Adreno 660, Android 11, you know, um, running One UI 3.1, 128 gigabytes of storage, 8 gigs of RAM. I mean, you know, uh, some people may, you know, snarf over the fact that this phone does not have expandable storage, but there is different storage options. Obviously, the higher storage uh, capacity you get, the more money you are going to spend. Um, but I mean, to me, the the 999 128 gig offering is more than what i need as far as storage space is concerned but i do understand the argument for those that really really add a lot to their device and just needing way more storage space than that if you need more space you can't expand so i mean uh, that you know you, you can't expand and you're gonna have to spend more money you know for those higher uh storage capacities okay but I mean, as far as like 
performance, I mean, performance is, is, is solid, right? I mean, it's, wait, let me see my, yes, I am connected to Wi-Fi, but I do still have my main SIM in here. Um, but just going to open up a few applications and some of these apps that I'm opening are just some very extremely, extremely content heavy. And you can see, I mean, they're, you know, loading time a little bit, you know, but didn't take too long to get into, uh, pull up Amazon really quickly. I mean, you see, I mean, the phone is definitely a performer, you know what I mean? So there, there's no, you know, there, there's no shortage in, 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 in the way this thing performs by any stretch of the imagination, right? This phone is a performance monster. Um, it, it, it is a beast, you know, my, my, my main, you know, uh, uh, qualms with, uh, qualms with this device has a lot to do with just the, not even necessarily the aesthetics, because I think the phone is absolutely, it's a beautiful device. Like I love this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this, la the, the lavender color. I mean, it is a nice touch. It really is. You know, it is a really nice touch. It's just, I, you know, I've been, I've been spoiled by the razor. And also when I think about a folding device in my mind, I'm thinking more so again, consolidation between phone and tablet, you know, something that I'm going to be able to multitask on and do a lot of different things like the surface duo, like the fold two or the fold three, you know what I mean? And so, <laughs> You know, and even the razor, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I just, I, I feel like I, you know, if I'm going to have a device like this, I want to get a bit more functionality from it, whether the device is opened or closed. Does that make sense? Um, now cameras on the front, we've got a 10 megapixel sensor selfie camera that is right here at the top. You can't see it because I've got the black wallpaper work there and you can see it right there in the glare. And then on the rear here, we've got you know, uh, dual 12 megapixel sensors. Uh, one is a wide lens. The other one is an ultra wide lens. And I think that these cameras will surprise a lot of people. I really don't understand why people thought that these cameras were going to be garbage anyway. You know, I just heard a lot of other reviewers talking about the fact that, oh, well, you know, these are the same sensors from last year and, you know, don't expect too much improvements. It's funny how, you know, people, they can, they can say stuff like that. And you got to understand too, the average consumer aren't phone reviewers. And so they're not, they're not scrutinizing these, these cameras the way that us reviewers do, you know what I mean? And so that's why I always say stuff like, you know, the camera is going to be more than suitable for your average consumer. It's like, you know, us as us tech reviewers, you know, we have the ability to be a bit extreme with things at times, you know what I mean? And I'm not even really all that camera savvy as far as like, you know, all the, you know, verbiages and the ins and outs, all the, you know, I'm not, I'm not really all that knowledgeable. I've learned a lot since I've, since becoming a reviewer, but I mean, some of the stuff that people be talking about, I mean, I can be looking at a perfectly good picture to my eye, but then people be slamming the photo because of, I don't know, you know, shadows or white balance, or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And I'm like, that is a perfectly good looking photo. So it's like some of these people, I feel like they have just unrealistic expectations. The camera on this phone is super solid. And I can't understand why people would actually think that even though it may have the same sensors as last year's versions or a previous or, or a previous Samsung device, I don't know why people have it in their, in their mind that cameras can't be enhanced. The Google Pixel, which is to a lot of people, some of the best cameras, if not the best cameras on a smartphone for several years, use the same sensor, but they always found a way to improve the camera quality. I mean, so why can't Samsung do it? Right. I mean, so, you know, I've heard a lot of people slamming the camera here, slamming the camera on the fold three, you know, oh, well, the fold three, it's got the same cameras as the fold two. So what does that mean? Does that mean it's going to be bad? It's like, come on, like, like, like give stuff a chance before you start knocking it and slamming it, because that, 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 that you know, spe spewing that type of toxicity can really stray some folks, you know, from really giving a phone an opportunity that deserves an opportunity. There's some people out there that are just camera crazy and that's the determining factor. And if they hear some of you out there talking about how garbage the camera is going to be, or you don't think 
that it's going to be a top performer just because it may happen to be the same sensors as last year's phone. Some people may overlook that device and not even give it an opportunity when it deserves an opportunity. I like how Jay Will put it. He put it like, you know, he said that a lot of these reviewers, so-called, are more so enthusiast. And, 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 and or, 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 or influencers, that's what he said, influencers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, don't don't fall for the okie doke, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't 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 let an influencer, you know what I'm saying, tell you or try to dictate to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, g- get it in your hands. Try it out for yourself, because there's been a lot of devices where people were just like other reviewers. Oh, man, the, 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 the camera's trash. And then I would get the device and start taking photos and videos. And I'd be like, what in the hell was that person talking about? The cameras on this phone is super dope. It's happened several times. So I tell anybody, get the phone in your hand. You know what I mean? At the tail end of this video, there's going to be some sample shots, video, all that stuff. You know what I mean? To, to kind of help you, you know, you know, give you a, a bit of an understanding of what the camera system on this device is capable of. All right. Now, battery life. We've got a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. I gotta say, the battery life is, is decent. But I had to turn down the adaptive display to standard. Standard is 60, uh, 60 hertz refresh rate, which is typical. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're able to tell, but my scrolling and everything that I'm doing, this is on 60 hertz. Because if I keep it on 120 hertz, it literally fries the battery. And for whatever reason, this phone also runs extremely hot, like all the time. If I place a call, it gets super hot. If I'm texting back and forth with my buddies, it gets super hot. If I'm browsing the web or just looking at a YouTube video, it gets super hot. And I'm like, okay, Samsung, you don't really have a good track record with devices getting hot because when your devices get hot, they blow. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to sustain no injury. So a lot of, there's been a few times where I was just like, yo man, temperature's running a little bit too high in this device, man. Let me go ahead and shut it down. Actually, another one of the reasons why I bought this case was to protect it. But for two, I was like, I was starting to become annoyed with the fact that every thing that I did with this phone, it started getting super hot and I was starting to get a little uncomfortable with how hot this phone was getting. And so I'm like, okay, well, if I put a case on it, then uh, not to necessarily suppress the heat, but it's like my bare hands isn't always going to be, you know, on, I mean, it's not like burning hot, like, like it's going to like scald you or anything like that, but it seems like the phone's temperature gets way hotter than what it should. And I noticed the warmth, even with this case on it. And so I don't know what's going on with that, but you know, it was the same thing with the Moto Razr 5G. The one that I reviewed months ago, and then I brought it back into the laboratory because I was like, I would just, I just wanted to get it again. I wanted to spend a little bit more time with it. And even that one runs super hot. So I'm like, okay, that's two of those razors. That's just, a, that's an issue with the phone. And it seems to be the same thing here with the with with, with the uh, with the with the Z Flip five with the Z Flip three five G. And I'm not sure if anybody else is having that issue, but I mean, for whatever reason, everything that this phone does, it runs super hot. If you, man, if you launch the camera app, launch the camera app and have the viewfinder up and taking pictures for an extensive period of time, even even if it's not an exp- uh, extensive period of time, a couple minutes. The phone is getting super hot. If you start recording, it's super hot, like way hotter than what it should be in my mind. Now, I don't know if that's something that is a defect or if that's something that can be fixed with software updates, but somebody's got to bring this to Samsung's attention uh, because this phone just runs ridiculously hot, like with everything that it does. It fries the battery. Like I said, I mean, keeping this phone at 120 hertz is not ideal. If you want this phone to last you all day, you got to turn it down to standard, which is 60 Hertz. And that sucks because a lot of people, they're buying this phone. And one of the, one of the, the selling points is, oh, well now the Z flip three, five G it has 120 Hertz display. 
the Z, the Z Flip 5G in the original C Flip did not. It was a 60 hertz display and things were pretty choppy. But I mean, for the sake of sustaining battery life, I would much rather, and, and this is fine. Like, look at this. Like this, I mean, can, can you really tell that this is on 60 hertz? I mean, here, I'll go ahead and let's go to display, motion smoothness, adaptive, apply. I mean, maybe you could tell a little bit, but I mean, it's not. You know, it's I mean, things are still super responsive as they are. On 60 hertz. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bit more fluid. Okay, you see that? You see that smoothness? Okay, now let me go back and turn that off. Okay, standard, boom. Okay, we're in standard now. I mean, you notice a little bit of a difference, but I mean, the smoothness that you get with the 120 hertz turned on, it's not really all, it's not, it's not really that much more significant with it off. And to me, it's not worth keeping it on if your battery is just gonna drain at a rapid pace. It's just not worth it. You know what I mean? So, you know, battery, and, and so like I said, I mean, with turning it on 60 hertz, I mean, battery life is decent. I mean, I'm at 71% right now. You know, I, I did have to charge this device when I woke up this morning. You know, it was at like 7%. Um, another thing that I don't really care too much for on this device is it only has 15 watt fast charging. That is absolutely insane. Okay, when charging this device, the outer display here will display what the battery percentage is while it's charging, and it'll also tell you how much longer it's gonna be before your battery is fully charged. Now, tell me why, ladies and gentlemen, my battery was at 82% on the charger. 82%! And it said on the display that it was gonna be another 30 minutes before fully charged. How, what? Like, how, how is it at 84%, but it's still gonna be another 30 minutes before it's fully charged? That's what, that, and, and it had already been on the charger a while to get up to that 82%. So I went over to the phone thinking, okay, man, it's been on the charger long enough. It's gotta be ready only to see that it's not going to be ready for another half hour and it's at 82 percent no 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 that's 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 terrible i'm spoiled by the one pluses i'm spoiled by xiaomi i'm spoiled by my zte axon 30 ultra 5g that comes with the 65 watt charger in the box you're talking about 30 minutes to go from 82% to 100%. How about go from zero to 100% in about 20, 25 minutes? That's the, that's the charging speeds that I'm talking about. And for a cool thousand bucks, which is what this phone cost. Those are the charging speeds that, uh, that we should be experiencing. I mean, to me, that is absolutely ridiculous. 15 watts? Yeah, man. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, notable features. I, I feel like really the only notable feature that I really like, and I'm not really trying to, sl I'm not trying to slam this device like that, man, because you know, it, it's, it's a solid device, but I'm just saying, you know, like my man Tech Odyssey, he said it best. It's okay if you don't like this phone because it's not for everybody. And it's not for me. One of the most notable things about this device is flex mode. I love having the ability to prop the phone up like this, go to YouTube, okay? Um, 
and you know, I can start a video. Matter of fact, there's my man Tech Odyssey right there. Okay. I can start a video and the video will literally, the, it, it'll play on the top portion and you can be doing other things here. Matter of fact, here, let me see. Let me, one second. Let me bring up, let me go to my channel. I'm just going to bring up one of my videos. Okay. And so just for the sake of demonstration. Okay, so you see the content is playing up top. Down below, I'm scrolling. I could be doing other things. I mean, if there's another video that I want to look that, capt that captures my attention, then I can hit that and it will start playing up top. And then while I'm watching that video, I have the ability to scroll and see if there's anything else that I like. All right. Now that's, that's like, that's dope to me. Okay. I like the fact now that the phone does have the dual stereo speakers because that was something that I felt was missing on the original Z flip and the Z flip 5g. So I like the fact that Samsung did implement the dual stereo speakers here. Um, But I, I, that's really it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To, to to keep it honest with you. And I mean, here, let's let's do this. So you guys aren't gonna hear the music, but I've got music. You know, and again, Spotify is also optimized for flex mode. I mean, so listening to Drake's new album. So it's like you know, you're looking at albums up top. And then you see you got your controls down on the bottom, right? That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty dope. You know, I had this phone with me at work. I have it sitting up like this watching videos. And yeah, it's a bit of a smaller display, but it's like, you know, you know, I got my new glasses, you know what I'm saying? So I can actually see now. So it's not really that bad. And then just having the ability to, you know, be looking at other content down here to, to watch. People walk by and they see that and they're like, whoa. Right. I mean, it's a bit shocking because a lot of people, they aren't really hip to this. You know what I mean? Um, but so when we close the display now, double tap it. Okay. And these are the notifications that, it, that you'll see. So, you know, we got weather, Best Buy, YouTube, tips. If I want to clear all, I can just hit clear all. Okay, and then you see you got the time, the battery percentage, today's date. Okay, you scroll to the right. It says no music playing when actually music is playing. You've got a, maybe like six or seven different things that you can choose. And you see, open phone to continue. Now, I'm listening to music on Spotify, so I'm not exactly sure why the controls aren't playing here. It says no music playing when I've got my Bluetooth in my ear. So I'm I'm listening to Drake's new album and music is playing in my Bluetooth. So why it's saying that music isn't playing there? But it's like if I tap on it, it says open phone to continue. But you clearly see. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. Or if I scroll down, oh, I don't even see the, I don't even see the music controls up top. Wow, maybe it's not reading the fact that music is playing. Interesting. Yeah, so it says no music is playing, even though music is playing. Hold up, let me see some. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, here, one second. Let me see. Uh, okay, so let's see if it shows now. Okay, so now it shows. So like stuff like this, right? 
and you can you can you know flip the tracks um you know pause go to your previous track i mean to me this this is the most useful thing when the device is closed to me this is like the most useful thing because I'm a, I'm a music buff i'm listening to music all the time to me this is the most useful feature with the outer display you can't i mean you can look at notifications but you can't return notifications you can't place phone calls you can't do any of that stuff that sucks to me you know what I'm saying? It's like, why have an outer display if you're not going to give people some of the most basic features? To me, responding to a notification or being able to place a phone call, that's standard stuff. It's like, at least give us the ability, Samsung, to do the basics. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I... Yeah, man, I... Yeah, I... I... Yeah, I, look, I'm stuttering. I'm at a loss for words, man. I can't... I can't recommend this phone, man. I'm going to tell anybody if they want a good, if they want a folding phone like this, I'm recommending that people get the Moto Razor 5G. Even though the, the Moto Razor 5G can't really stack up to this phone as far as the internal specifications, don't get it confused in thinking that just because the Moto Razor 5G is more of a mid range as far as the specs that it has, it's still a beast and it performs very, very well. It performs very well. And you could also get it at a deal. You know, that phone was like 13 or 14 bucks. It dropped down to 999, which is the same price as this. And I think now you can get it for less because it's been out for a little bit. And I know that Motorola, you know, they're working on, you know, the new Moto Razor. Um, I think they're calling it the Razor 2 or something like that. We'll, we'll see. But if you, if you want more functionality with the phone overall, I would say go with the Razor or just spend the extra money and get a fold. If you can, you know, I know that joint is pricey, but I mean, the, the fold, you're, you're getting, you're getting everything. You know what I mean? And it's like, you could do a lot, whether that phone is open or closed. Now, you know, if you're okay with this, and th these are just my gripes. Okay. These are just my gripes. I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that this phone is a bad device. It's just not good for me. I expect more from it. To me, it's lacking certain things that it should have, but it may be good for you. You know what I mean? So if you like what you see, then man, go for it. Pull the trigger. You know what I mean? But I'm like, for me, I, yeah, this, this phone is going back. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not staying in my rotation. It's not staying in my lineup, man. You know? Um, so that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for the full pristine review for the Moto Razor. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> The Moto Razor, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. Be sure to hit that notifications bell so that whenever my videos drop, you'll get notified and you can be one of the first to check out the content. Get down in the comments and let me know what you think about what you saw. All right. Thank you for allowing me to bend your ear on this phone. And, uh, you know, like I said, keep it locked because I've got so much more content to come. You already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Camera footage and video footage rolling right now. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All right, y'all. So this is the rear camera on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. 5G. Uh, we've got a dual 12 megapixel sensor. We've got a 12 megapixel wide lens and we've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens that has a 123 degree field of view. And you just see me or you just saw me switch that view right there. So here's the standard view and here's that ultra wide. And so you can see with the ultra wide, I mean, you can get, you know, a bit more, you know, in the shot, you know what I mean? And you don't seem to be losing quality um, as you would on other devices when you uh, pan or when you scroll to that ultra wide uh, uh, option. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just walking around. I mean, we do have optical image stabilization working. I mean, so I'm pretty sure my movements are nice and smooth as they ought to be. And, uh, 
yeah, you know, we do have 4K recording at 30 or 60 FPS. Uh, we've got 1080p recording at, I believe, 30 FPS. And then we've got 720, uh, 720p recording at, I believe, 960 frames per second. I believe that's what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah. You know, just walking back up to the laboratory. Let me know what you guys think about the dual camera system on the Z Flip 3. College football opening weekend. You know what I'm saying? Clemson versus Georgia. I hope Clemson takes that L. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, this is where all the magic happens right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, got to drawer full of phones here and just man just all kind of stuff man Zena, my tarantula she's been on the wall in her cage for she's been here for like the last two days y'all I don't know she's she's tripping but yeah she's a Costa Rican zebra tarantula and you can see her there. She's uh she's pretty big. Here, matter of fact, here, let me uh so you guys can get a better look if you want to. Whoo. Yeah, y'all ain't ready. <laughs> I know some of y'all is ew, he got a spider. Ew. <laughs> I'm into exotic things, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Sound off in the comments. Peace. Little bunny in my yard. We got tons of them. They be in our yard tough. Zoom in on them. Shot with the Z Flip 3 5G. <laughs> Some fool just watching these little animals, man. Uh huh. I'm, I'm recording you, pimping. You know what I'm saying? You see me? You in my yard, homie? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, what you about to run up? Man, bro, I, hey, bro, I know you ain't beefing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, come on, bro, man. I know you ain't funking, bro. Man, y'all, is he beefing? Is he tripping? Man, I know he ain't tripping. You just gonna eat my grass right in front of me, huh? Huh. <laughs> All right, homie. <laughs> oh man too cute y'all too cute alright y'all so this is the 10 megapixel sensor on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G um, man things look good actually you know the, 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 the quality is actually impressive um, and I'm I'm not one of those reviewers that felt as though that this camera was going to be lacking in any area whatsoever. Um, I knew that the camera was going to be very solid on this device as it is, which you can see. Um, we've got, you know, a lot of the features and functions, you know, that one would want, you know, on a device, especially out of a flagship device. We do have optical image stabilization. Um, you see that I am moving around my home and, um, you can see that that is definitely um, definitely working. Things are nice and smooth looking. Um, but yeah, you know, we do have 
We do have 4K recording at 30 frames, uh, 30 FPS. On this device. Um, and yeah, I mean, what else can I really tell you about it? I mean, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a, it's a solid, it's, it's solid. It's a solid camera. So, um, yeah, you know, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about what you're seeing. And, uh, you already know, you know, thank you for letting me bend your ear on this camera. And, you know, I'm getting ready to roll the still shots. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and, you know, sprinkle a little musical heaven for your ears. You know what I'm saying? While you guys is watching that content. And, uh, you know, catch y'all on the next one. You guys already know. Please stay safe. Get spiritually fit. And keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Peace. Peace.